just about to put some paint on. The, uh, the body is black out of the mold. I use a black resin to produce it. Um, but I've sanded it all down now with 600 grit and uh, just, about to get to, just about to put some black paint on it now. What the heck? Oh, it's the, uh, the guy I'm building it for. Hey! Yeah, how you doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah, the, bl the black vinyl wrap, yep. Oh, that sounds like fun. You did... Oh! Say what? You went to a safari park and the monkeys did what? They pick. <laughs> they picked it. Up. They picked all the corners up. The mon oh, so, so you oh so you got a oh you're pulling it off. You're you're pulling off all the. So, yeah. Silver. So to paint it silver, I uh, went down to a local paint shop to get them to mix up the actual paint code of the truck we're, uh, we're copying here. And when I got to talking over with the guys, they uh, recommended that I sand down to bare plastic, apply an adhesion promoter, and then uh, lay on the paint. So I'll trust the professionals. However, that was a little bit annoying because on here, I already had two coats, well two different types of paint, probably, I don't know how many coats, it was pretty thick, and I even put on a bit of adhesion promoter before I, uh, I heard that we should sand it down first. So the roof, front, windshield area, but everything, and this whole side have been sanded down to bare plastic. Now this is with 150 grit going like that. All around all the rivets, all over the hinges, in these nooks and crannies and everything. This has been a pig of a job. This is already my second day and I've only got this far. I still have to do the back and this side. So we still got a few more hours to put into this, but thankfully for you guys, using the magic of editing, we can go from this <laughs> To that. Now that we're done with 150 grit, we can go on to 220. 600 watts. Lastly, 1000. That's it for this episode guys, stay tuned for part 7 and subscribe so you don't miss it.